little ridiculous about this situation is the cost-benefit calculation involved. This school district has rules that will pull my daughter out of class and potentially send her home for wearing shorts that show too much of her thighs. Because evidently, the mere sight of the skin of her thighs will interfere with the ability of students to get educated. This rule is actually enforced. I have not seen any of the individuals railing against masks on Facebook or in person standing up for my daughter's personal choice for a Nike running shorts in school. The district that enforces, this district that enforces the dress code doesn't enforce a mask mandate at the same blocks. Okay. I'm a forensic pathologist. I work as a medical examiner in Tarrant County and also out in Tyler. I do autopsies to figure out how and why people die. I see death every day. Death from violence, including murders and accidents. But I also see a lot of death from natural disease and that includes COVID. COVID is real. People with COVID can die. Old and young, rich and poor, all races. I don't want to see any more. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We have mitigation efforts in effect. We have mask options. We have a vaccine that's widely spread. By this time, those who are most vulnerable have had plenty of time to take advantage of that. Have two kids who do not have the option to engage in vaccines currently. I'm here tonight because I do believe things have been politicized more than they should be politicized. I believe there's division where there shouldn't necessarily be division. I believe the fact that COVID and the Delta variant are very real dangerous germs. Um, the Pfizer vaccine was approved today for 16 and older. Uh, my request is to have uh, to require above age 16 for the students to be vaccinated. <coughs> it's like masks is the topic of debate, but that would be on request. Uh, and for folks that are not vaccinated, uh, for them to wear a mask. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. We talked to our son and explained that not all the kids will be wearing masks. We explained that he needs to worry only about himself and to be kind to everyone regardless. I gave the example of bike helmets. Our family wears self bike helmets and some families choose not to. We only worry about what our family is doing. He stopped me and said, but it's not the same, Mom. If I don't wear my bike helmet, I only hurt myself. If I don't wear a mask, I can hurt other people. Our son is eight years old and he gets it. I work for a private company who actually makes COVID vaccine um, chemicals. Um, and I'm a retired DEA forensic chemist. Um, I have read everything I can related to um, research studies on COVID-19, its variants, and all things from masks to vaccinations. Um, my comments aren't political, scientific, or controversial, but very personal for my family. Um, we do believe in personal choice and responsibility. We're talking about mandating masks and taking away choice for families that want to be able to parent their own children and make choice for what's right for them and right for their own circumstances.